So I took this picture this morning and I was just so shocked to see when only, you know, five months ago I looked like this. You know, my absolute highest weight I had ever been. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Stasia and I have recently lost over 30 pounds following a plant-based diet. Now, if you haven't been following along for very long, maybe it's your first time landing on my channel. I want you to know that losing weight has been an uphill battle for me. I have you know, lost some over the years, gained some, really gained some, and now I finally feel like I've kind of got things figured out and the weight is finally starting to come off. So with it being the end of October, which is just absolutely crazy to me, I did hop on the scale this morning to check in with my weight to see how I've done for this month. I've mentioned many times before that I don't care to weigh myself all the time. So I just like to check in every few weeks or so. So I do know the amount that I've lost for the month of October. So I will be sharing that along with if I've made any other changes, you know, this month and yeah, just kind of overall how I am doing. In case it is your first time landing on my channel, I have just recently put out a brand new weight loss recipe ebook, one that is basically like a blueprint to my current weight loss. So I do have some other fabulous books that have, you know, a lot of oil-free whole food plant-based recipes, but if you're looking for the specific recipes as far as how I've actually got over 30 pounds off in the last few months, I put this ebook together for you for exactly that reason. So I've recently stopped eating overt fats as well as breads and pastas. So all of the recipes included in this book have absolutely no added fats in any of the recipes. So these are quite literally the same recipes that I've been eating. I kept track of them so that I could put it together as an ebook for all of you. And they are the recipes that I'm still eating to get the weight off. And I promise you, this is the first time in years and years and years, maybe Maybe even my whole life that I've successfully been able to get the weight to shift by eating the recipes that are exactly in this book. So if you'd like to check out that ebook or grab a copy of it, then I will have that posted in my description box below and try to be one of the first 20 people to purchase it because the first 20 people will get a copy at 50% off. So again, that book will be posted in my description box below if you'd like to check it out. All right, so let's get into the month of October, how things went for me, how it's still going. Um, I would like to start off by saying that the more time that passes, things are just continuously getting easier and easier. I would say maybe the first month or two was where I felt the adjustments the most. Um, and then kind of after that, you know, the third, fourth, and now the fifth month, um, you know, things are just kind of becoming more habitual for me and a little bit less of an actual effort having to be made. So it has been five months since I stopped eating any overt fat. So that includes nuts, seeds, avocados, any type of nut butters, and no breads and pastas. So I've been consistently doing that for about five months now, and I'm very, very happy to say that I'm down almost 36 pounds. So the scale was 35.8 that I've lost in total since making these changes. So I'm just gonna call it 36 pounds to round it up and make it even, 0.2 of a pound's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so about 36 pounds I have lost in the last five months simply by making those changes. Just five months ago, I was literally at my highest weight I have ever been. And now I'm kicking myself that I didn't take more video or didn't take more before pictures. I mean, most of us, when we're at that part in our weight loss journey, we're not too excited to be in front of the camera, um, or at least I wasn't. So I would strongly recommend if you're just starting out your weight loss journey, please take pictures and videos because even the handful that I do have, it's really shocking and motivating and a lot of other fabulous things when I see the comparisons side by side. So as I mentioned, I just jumped on the scale today and along with doing that, I decided to take some more pictures because not only is it important to take those before and after pictures, I feel that it's probably going to be important to take those in between, you know, while you're still on your journey pictures as well. So I'm trying to be better about that and trying to remember to do that so that as I continue to lose this weight that I'll be able to kind of see the whole process and it's really, really eye-opening to just kind of see the progress within yourself. Just five months ago, this is what I looked like. And so these were a couple of pictures that I took this morning. And to me, I don't know if you guys see it or not, but to me, I see a huge, huge difference in these pictures. I mean, I still have weight to lose, but just from five months ago to now, it's quite remarkable and something I'm quite proud of. I have always known how to eat healthy. In fact, I 
actually enjoy eating healthy. So that is not something I'm a stranger to. You know, I love fruits and vegetables. I've always loved fruits and vegetables. So that was never my issue. I wasn't, you know, too heavy on just a standard American diet. So all of that wasn't the issue. I think the issue was a lot of weight loss related issues in terms of relearning and listening to my hunger and fullness cues, you know, not eating out of boredom or stress or emotional eating, not finishing my plate just because, you know, just because snacking when I'm not necessarily even needing a snack, you know, eating while I'm just watching a movie or hanging out just because that's kind of the social thing to do, as well as of course, you know, prior to following this lifestyle, even though I was vegetarian, you know, still eating a lot of higher calorie plant-based foods. There was just a lot of things that fell into the reasons of why I wasn't able to lose the weight. So within this past year, I had a lot of life changes, a lot of personal things going on that my health and weight loss kind of took the back burner. I was still eating healthy, but I was just really overdoing it and not really paying attention to any of those things that I just mentioned. So the weight was just slowly creeping up on me to the point that, you know, I literally landed at my highest weight ever. It is so shocking and embarrassing to even think that that happened because it's certainly not something that happens overnight, even though it kind of feels like it, but it's not. It was a slow progression. I wasn't really checking in with my weight, so I didn't even realize it was kind of as bad as it actually was. But five months ago, I just got sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. <laughs> and, you know, and that's when I just decided, no, I'm going all in. Now, with that being said, there were some changes to my personal life as well. So that certainly lifted the cloud off of me and was able to get me into a better mind space to be able to make changes. But, um, but nonetheless, I still hunkered down. And like I said, I got rid of all the overt fats. My gallbladder was really struggling at the time. I was having several attacks and I was really getting scared at that point. So I thought, you know what, something needs to give here. I need to make some changes. So after that first two months, I actually lost 20 pounds in the first eight weeks. It was crazy. Like I stopped the overt fats and the weight just fell off of me. Like that first 20 pounds was incredibly shocking how fast the weight came off. So since then, when I saw that I was having such success with the weight loss, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and I've steadily been losing weight ever since. So another update that I wanna mention, speaking of the gallbladder, especially for any of you, if you do have gallbladder issues, my gallbladder has calmed right down. Like I don't have any attacks anymore whatsoever. So very, very happy because that was actually initially what kickstarted all of this in the first place. So I'm really happy to say that health-wise, I'm feeling incredible and weight-wise, I'm also starting to feel pretty incredible. Okay, so aside from the amount of weight that I've lost, another thing that is awesome, awesome, so exciting for me is that I have lost two pant sizes in the last five months. And for me, that's even more exciting than whatever the scale says. Like, I am just so excited you know, on one hand, it's sad because all of my clothes before are no longer fitting me, um, you know, but it's exciting when I'm able to go to the store looking for new clothes and just to see how things are starting to fit on my body, right? So just like one of those pictures, like that was today, these were pants that were tight on me before and look how loose they are on me now, right? So it's really exciting to see that, to feel that. And so yes, five months in now, I am now down two pant sizes. Now, a couple of other things that I should mention is my cravings for junk food have really, really decreased. Um, yeah, I just kind of feel like food in general doesn't have such a strong hold over me. And I mean, food literally used to control my life before. I just couldn't seem to get it under control. Um, you know, whether that was just like stress eating, emotional eating, all of those things were really what affected me more than anything else. Like I just couldn't really say no to food, if you know what I mean. And so even when you're eating healthy, if you're just eating too much of something good, even, you know, it can be bad for you as far as weight loss goes anyways, right? So that's what was happening for me. So I just feel like now I don't even really think about it. I don't think about having things too much in excess anymore or sugary types of vegan treats, anything like that. I just don't even really think about it anymore. And the same kind of goes for snacking. So I used to be a snackaholic, like snacking all day throughout the day. Again, not even really thinking that those things even make that big of a deal, you know, because in your mind, when you're doing it, you're just kind of thinking like, 
oh, it's just a little bit. So that little bit is not going to do too much. But those little bits just continuously add up over that day and then over the following days and weeks. And those little bits end up making quite a big difference. And that was a major learning curve for me um, that I just didn't seem to quite get before. So now my snacking is really minimized to actually only snacking if I truly need a snack. So I don't deprive myself of anything. If I'm hungry, I eat. Um, But in terms of just mindless snacking, I've kind of really got that under control and I don't really snack a lot to be honest anymore. So I'm sure that that has contributed to the continuous weight loss. Okay, so some of you are always wondering if I'm doing anything different. And the answer for this month is no. I've literally just kept doing exactly what I've been doing. So I'm still getting in my fiber protein shakes, probably minimum five times a week. Those fiber protein shakes have been an incredible part of my weight loss journey. I have seven days worth of recipes in my new weight loss recipe ebook if you don't already have it. I also have this video that I made showing my fiber protein shakes as well. So if you'd like to check out those shakes to see what I'm talking about, then I'll post this video in my description box below. But these shakes have been an incredible part of my weight loss journey because I really truly enjoy them and that is super important to have food that you can actually look forward to. So I designed these shakes to specifically taste kind of like dessert. That's why we have the Snickers shake and the Reese's Pieces Buttercup and the Vanilla Birthday shake. Those are some of my favorite ones, Um, you know, but I have those to actually look forward to. And because they have the beans in there, then we've got the fiber and the protein and they just keep me full for hours. I've already had a large handful of you reach out to me, sharing in my comments how you have already lost weight by just implementing these shakes into your diet. And I just get blown away every time I see the comments because I'm like, I know they work. Like they actually work. They've been a huge part of my own personal weight loss. So it's just really exciting when I hear that they are working for you guys as well. So congratulations to all of you. Anytime any of you guys leave a comment letting me know of your progress, it just gets me so excited. And you gotta know that I'm just like truly cheering you on. So congrats to all of you that have been updating me and letting me know how you are doing. Because I have struggled so much to lose weight, you know, I just have this like connection to all of you who are also struggling. So a lot of you share your personal experiences with me, you know, whether you're DMing me or in my comments on my videos. And I really feel for you. Like I genuinely do because for years I was that overweight vegan years. That's a really long time, you know? So it's not just until recently that the magic is happening. So when I say, if I can do it, you can do it. I wholeheartedly mean that. That is not just some, you know, cliche statement that I'm making. Like, I really, truly believe it because it has been such an uphill battle for me. And making these changes has made all the difference for me. So I feel like if I can do it, then you can do it as well. Losing weight isn't always the easiest thing, especially when we're so deep rooted into like our bad habits and, you know, lack of being able to listen to those hunger and fullness cues. But I can't express what a difference it's making in my entire life. You know, it goes so much more beyond just weight loss. It just kind of shows you who you are and what you're capable of doing. You know, if you can be disciplined enough to just say no, to learn to say no, you know, to certain foods or temptations around you. And when you can do that with your food, which, you know, food for some of us has the biggest grip of all in our lives. So when you can say no to that, that's something that has such power over you, you would be surprised how it ends up trickling in to other areas of your life. When I see this girl, I don't see someone who's confident or even comfortable in her skin, you know, and this picture was dreadful when I saw it, if I'm being honest. Like I really did not even realize that I was as big as I was in this picture. Like my husband had the waitress take a picture of us and it was a family shot and I was just mortified when I saw myself in that photo, you know, and to think that this is the picture from this morning, you know, it's not to toot my own horn, but it's just to show you that in just a small amount of time that you can be two different people. You know, it's it's really mind blowing. And this girl here is happy, healthy, and feeling so much more confident. Even though I'm not at goal weight, I'm not even where I want to be. I'm already feeling like a brand new person. So I think I'm gonna leave the video here. That's pretty much the update for the month of October. I still just been keeping on, keeping on, eating all of my recipes that have no overt fats in them and the weight is just coming off. It's just absolutely incredible. So again, if you would like to check out that book or grab a copy for yourself, 
be the first 20 people, get it at 50% off. So again, you can find that in my description box below. I want to say a really heartfelt thank you to all of you who have been following my channel, you know, whether I'm up, whether I'm down and just rooting me on genuinely. I know who you are. I see you in my comments, you know, and it just means so much to me because I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm just an everyday person that has my own struggles, you know, insecurities and emotions just like you. So it really does mean something and warms my heart when I get such lovely messages. They're just so encouraging and continue to motivate me. Like I hope that I'm also motivating you. If it's your first time landing on one of my videos and you're also on a weight loss journey, then be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along my plant-based weight loss journey and so that I can help you out with yours. We have a really awesome plant-based community here. All right, everyone. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.